it's Bobby with Kitchen Talk again. Woo -hoo -hoo. Race Bruce? Yeah. Okay, well, I just want to let you know that you're here for a reason. God sent you here. You came to YouTube. I pop up. Here I am. God's got a word for you today, and I'm here to spread some joy and the love of the Lord with you. Non believers, got a challenge for you. For the next 14 days, every time you get in something wrong, and you're like, ah, ah, I'm upset, ah, or, gee whiz, I wish this person would just hurry up. Okay, start talking to him, just go, Jesus, Jesus, and think about what you want. Watch what happens. Let's say you're standing in the line and you're going, Jesus, Jesus. Can't promise you the line's going to move faster, but I tell you what, you'll have a better attitude about it and things will just move, just be like, phew. Not every time, though, you got to realize what's in your heart, what's in your mind, what comes out your mouth. Name of Jesus, name of Jesus. You got Jesus coming out your mouth, it's in your mind. You got Jesus coming out your mouth, it's in your heart. It's going to get there. You watch. Things will go smooth. Can't promise they'll always be that way, but that's the way life is. I want you to know that the Lord God loves you. He loves you today. He loves you tomorrow. He loves you yesterday. If you don't believe it, try it. You know, he's just like a daddy or a mama. He's going to sit back and let you make your mistakes sometimes. Sometimes he's going to take his hand off of you and say, whoop, do you want to do it? Go ahead and let's see what the consequences are. You don't naturally every time reach out and smack you one. No. Because you know that's against the law now. Whatever. He'll just take his hands off and let you leave your consequences. And sometimes when your consequences come up, you think, oh, Lord, what have I done? But anyway, just know that the Lord God loves you. You choose to live your life and try to and read your word. Whoop, word, whoop, word, whoop, whoop. Learn it. Read it. Meditate on it. Read the words that Jesus wrote. Read how he lived. Really, really understand what he lived by sitting down and thinking about it. You know, 10 minutes a day ain't much of nothing. But I want you to know that God loves you. You're here for a reason you came here. Anything you may be going through, whether it's wonderful or horrible, God's bringing you through it. He's giving you the strength to make it through. If it's a wonderful time, spread that wonderfulness with everyone else. If you're going through a hard time, just know God's giving you strength. Just keep plowing on. You know, Josh Turner. When you're going through hell, keep on moving. Wait, that wasn't Josh Turner. I don't remember that guy's name. Anyway, I like that song. That's a real good song. I'm going to leave you with a blessing today. This is number 6, verses 24 through 27. It says, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Peace is what I ask for you today. I ask that God also give you joy and that you understand what it is to have the love of God. Now listen, all you unbelievers out there, I love you just as much as I love anyone else. I'm going to treat you good. I'm going to treat you with respect. You treat me with disrespect, expect the wrath of God. Because I tell you what, I don't like disrespect. I'm going to respect you. I expect you to respect me. And your comments, that's fine with me. I can come back with them too. We don't have to be ugly or drama, drama. I don't have to do all that stuff. I don't mind talking calmly with someone, whether you believe or not. But try my challenge. Call out the name of Jesus and know, see how well it works out for you. You have a wonderfully blessed day. Make it so. God bless you and leave you with peace. Later.